hello ladies welcome back to my channel it's good to see you again hope you've all been well so you know my mission to educate you on nigerian men nigerian traditions nigerian culture everything concerning nigeria especially nigerian men so i've talked a lot about nigerian men about what they do to foreign wives about games they play with foreign wives maybe not everything but i know that i have covered a lot of things so it will be totally unfair if i do not mention also the issues that nigerian men are also facing from their uh, foreign wives american wives british wives european wives like wives from all over the world like i told you nigerian men they travel far and wide and when they're on their their life's journey they meet with people maybe they fall in love and then they get married because they are not this kind of people that you know if they fall in love they start thinking something else no they settle that's why you see that nigerians have a very high level of yeah interracial marriages or married to foreign nationalities i think it would really be nice for me to tell you also problems that nigerian men are also facing being married to foreign wives foreign wives actually push nigerian men into polygamy yeah that is true why i'm saying this is i'm not saying it you know to castigate anyone because you know you are my ladies and i'm telling you how to make things better with your nigerian man so what i want to say today is to see if there is any way in which we could come to a balance so that nigerian men could stop doing whatever it is that they are doing okay so what this means is how we can reduce whatever it is that we are doing to deter them from polygamy you may not know this it is not the physical polygamy it is that kind of thing whereby they are married to foreign women but then when they go back home they go marry another wife and there is a reason for this but well, let us just face the main cause of why they do this. Okay, so speaking to some Nigerian men. Thank you. Thank you, girl. So, speaking to some various Nigerian men who have dated foreign women and their fears. They have told me their fears. They've told me their reservations. Yes, but the most important one is that they push them into having another wife back home not all of them are doing this but they say that some of the guys are doing this and the sole reason or the sole cause of this is the fact that foreign women do not like to go home with them and even if they go home they just want to stay a very limited time and go home. Like, they do not even want to, 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 you know, enjoy, enjoy the country. Their husband's country. Like, they do not want to stay a long time. When I'm in a long time, I know you have, I know you have your job wherever it is you're coming from. I know you have a life there already. So no one is expecting you like to come back to Nigeria and stay in Nigeria for quite, you know, a long time. But you could decide to go to Nigeria like your annual leave. I don't, I'm a Nigerian. I do not live in Nigeria. I've not been to Nigeria for two years reasons because of COVID. If not, my annual leave, I usually go back home and stay for one month. Yes, that's how I do it. But for two years, I didn't. First, I was pregnant. Next, my baby was out, but Corona. So because of that, we couldn't go home. So 
if you've watched my videos i will tell you i've told you how nigerian men really love home they love home they love family they cannot stay away from home for so long i've also told you that nigerian men go out of nigeria to make money they are not going out of nigeria because they love it somewhere else they're not going out of nigeria because other countries are maybe yes other countries are better when it comes to job when it comes to economy because our leaders have turned nigeria into something else so this is why we all leave nigeria to look for something better but sisters sisters believe me no matter where in nigerian goes home is the best believe me home is the best we're only going to make that money we're only going to acquire that which we cannot acquire because of too many issues or because of too many competitions or because of lesser you know opportunities but out there there are more opportunities and this is the reason why nigerian men go out so if they go out and during this journey, they meet you, they love you, they marry you. And then when they want to go home, you refuse to go with them. When they say, baby, come, let's go home. Let's go to see family. Let's go to see, you know, my people. You were scared. And even if you go, you want to just get over it and rush back as fast as you can. So this is the reason why they are scared so what happens is the foreign women sometimes they agree to go they stay for a little time and then they go back with the kids you all go back which is fine because you have a life over there after a while you come back home still because you have a life over there but when retirement comes and you're done looking for things of the world. You now want to start to live your life with your children, with your family. What now happens when this man is ready to go back home? What now happens? I have seen various foreign wives retire back home with their husbands, leaving their kids over in the U.S. to school. Yes, but foreign wives, most of them, refuse to come back to settle with this man. Therefore, the man comes back home lonely. I swear to you, I have an uncle who stayed abroad for many years. And when he came back, he came back alone. He died a lonely man. This is a man who has a wife and children. But they are overseas. Yes, you see them talk on the phone. You see them call. But ladies, come on. Don't you agree with me that this is a lonely life? You have made a living. You could come back home with your husband. Children could be in the U.S. And then you could go to visit them. This is what those who come back do. The children, they stay over there, they start working there, they start up their life there, being the life is better over there. But you were retired. You're not struggling for life anymore. You're back home to rest. So you have a nice, comfy apartment. You have your cars, you have everything to take care of you. You have people to stay with you. You know those things are not hard to get, especially back home. And then the kids stay abroad. This is how it happens, ladies. If you do not want this, really, think about it. When you are getting married to someone, what is the goal? What is your end goal? Isn't it to be with that person which you love? Isn't it to have a family with that person in which you love? How is it that at the end of the day, you choose your country over that person? It doesn't really sound right if you think about it. So this is why I am saying, yes, the biggest issue that they face is the issue 
of foreign wives refusing to come back home with them at the end of everything. When children are grown, when they are retired, and they want to just start to relax and live their life, foreign wives refuse to come back home. So, what do they do? They marry foreign wives because they love foreign wives. And when they go to Nigeria, they look for someone else and also get married to, with the agreement that he's not coming back home, he's gonna be abroad because he's, I swear, they are telling them, I would never marry a man who stays abroad, who is married to someone else, but some desperate ladies who wants a husband in the name and money, do it. There are few of them, but they do it. They will marry the man. When he goes back home, when you are leaving that man to go home alone on holiday, he goes stays with her. He leaves with her for the whole holiday. She gets pregnant. He goes back. Before you know, she gives birth. Next holiday, you are refusing to go, ladies. He goes back again, stays with his Nigerian wife. Again, second baby comes. Before you know it, he has made a family back home. You pushed him into polygamy. It wasn't his intention, but now he's scared of growing old and dying alone when it's time to go back home. If you do not want to go back home with your husband at the end of the day, please consider marrying someone who is in your country so that you both stay together. Because for me, I feel that love is something that is crazy. It makes you do lots of crazy things. You move. You move with your husband. This is life. So let's see if we can get a balance, you know. Let's see if we can get them to change this attitude that also gets you to change whatever it is you are doing that is leading to this attitude, okay? So my ladies, it's an eye-opener. We'll learn. Every day we'll learn, okay, my ladies? You know me. I got your back. And I want it to be good for you, okay? Let's meet again next week on Sunday. Okay? You know, I always meet you on a Sunday. So, without further ado, to have a lovely day, to have a happy day, stay happy, stay blessed, and in case you're worried about my voice, please do not be. I've been doing lots of upselling and talking to lots of teenagers at work these days. And you know how unbearable they can be. We passed that stage. So, very soon all will be done. And my voice will be back to what it used to be. Okay? Stay happy. Stay blessed. And bye-bye.